I'm Alyssa Yardin. How are you reviewing me now? Hey y'all, I'm Shamran. I'm here with my girl Sabrina. And we're How You Reviews, two Americans who are so amped up in the Korean wave as it reaches across the globe. We have a love of all Korean music. And welcome back to our Super Junior Concert Series. This is one more chance from the Super Show number seven in Seoul. And this is the band version, which we're not 100% sure what the band version means. We know that there's a live band for Super Show 7. So is that what it means? Or is this actually different from like the studio album version? So if you know, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section down below to explain it to us because we want to make sure we understand everything fully. And I believe there are a lot of band versions on this playlist. So, Well, I wonder if it's kind of one of those things that... Big Bang does too. Like when they like alternate, rearrange. they rearrange. Like if they rearrange, hmm. like they are, are, like if they rearrange it for a different performance. Yes. Or whatever. Like if they change it, like for their performances based on like the band. Does that make sense? Right. I don't know what I'm trying to say. So the wording isn't there, but the meaning is behind it. You could be on to something. Um, because let me tell you what I read. So I know that this is. Um, the single that marked the group's return from their two-year hiatus due to most of its members undergoing mandatory military service. So you could be on to something because it says the single was recorded with only seven members present. So this, I believe there are only seven members present here, but are they the same seven members? So this might be like a a different version. Um, Basically, it says that this was following the discharge of Inhuk, Donghae, and Siwon in the middle of 2017. And it said the single was written by Donghae during his mandatory military service, and he said he wasn't planning for the song to be a title track. The song is classified mm-hmm. as a pop rock ballad that features a subtle bill to guide the song's melodic uh, vocals. Remember, Unhyuk was involved in writing the rap lyrics, which is, aren't they d and the subunit d and Donghae and Unhyuk? Donghae and Unhyuk, yeah. Um, he described the song as a retrospective track that evokes the maturity of Super Junior, who were already in their second decade in the K-pop industry. Amazing. So, I'm very excited to take a listen to One More Chance. Oh. Yeah. It's Donghae. I love that sweater. I do too, it's so cozy. (laughs) Let's cuddle. Not right now, though, because <laughs> it's summer. Yeah, true. So is it just going to be D&E singing it? Or is it... I don't think so, because it said it was okay. recorded with seven members present, so... I love it when members play the piano. It just showcases their diversity of musical talent. Mm. Have all of the lights been blue with the light sticks? I I feel like all we see is blue. That could be wrong. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. But if this is an earlier generation, maybe? Oh, it's pretty. off though. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Not for this song. I'm just kidding. This song wearing cozy sweaters. Oh, so 
pretty. sad okay so first that? off like the emotion displayed in that song was beautiful beautiful i love that it was simple and they were just standing there together um so yeah. pretty but i like how it started just with dong hey on the piano and there weren't lyrics for like but quite I a long time i wish that he'd been like on the stage in the piano and not like behind the scenes that they brought it that forward they brought instead the piano of like forward. Yeah. um yeah i think that would have been really pretty it was gorgeous. And his it little sweater. So pretty. They all look so handsome. I but I really loved his like white sweater. I have it to really admit worked. though, I did I hated um Ye Sung. Is it Ye Sung? The one that had the like Ye Sung's pants. Pl- pants because <laughs> they were a bit loud for that song. <sighs> but just the teacher in me is like, Oh my gosh, this is like pajama pants. And they everyone else is like do. so put together and then I see like plaid pants. I'm like, Okay, those are totally pajama pants. Like But I I know they're not pajama pants. Oh, yeah. I'm sure they weren't. But they still looked very handsome. They did look very Shindong, handsome. Shindong, I love the blue on him. Actually. Yes. Yes. I nice. loved the blue. Like, oh, my gosh. He was looking so handsome. <laughs> so And then Dong Hei in that white sweater. Like, let's cuddle. Dong Hei was killing it. Let's cuddle. No. Not right now because it's summer, but, like. Oh, gosh. It just came back from plus 90 degree weather. I can't imagine wearing that sweater. and like, oh. <laughs> right? Not right too now. Hot. Like too in, hot. Yeah. in October. We'll come back to this in and October. we can talk about cuddling. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I, I think I agree with you. Like the minimal movements on the stage. Yes. Like when once Dong Hei came up and joined the rest of them, they just, it was just a standing sort of singing and they just kind of let the lyrics and, and, you know, just minimal movement, just kind of tell the story. And and I, I kind of agree with you listening to way. them all together. Like, it definitely felt like a song for Super Junior. Yes. I I feel like that. Like, if with it being sort of that, like, retrospective look at them in, like, their, you know, second decade in the pop industry and just being written during Dong Hae's enlistment, I mean, I feel like all K-pop songs are meant to have a relationship quality to so they appeal to their fandoms 
but I think a lot of the songs are about other things. Like they're the masters of making them have like a double meaning. And it really did seem like, I, what did I say the subtitle was? Something about like, one more chance, don't go like the rain or mm-hmm. something like that. So that was really sweet. Don't go like the rain. Yeah, because... I mean, I don't know. Rain can, depending on where you live, can stick around for a long time and you're wishing for it to go away. But in some parts of the world, there are quick showers that do kind of come and just fade out before you even kind of get into a major, major storm. So, And so before we even got started with the recording, I I was reading through the lyrics because I wanted to know just kind of what the song was about. And they were so beautiful, but they were also so, like... Sad and just emotional, and so you know, it was kind of heartfelt to just put it all together. And so, I think that in retrospect, it really does tell a huge story about just kind of sticking around and and not wanting to disappear. Mm -hmm. And I think that says a lot, especially after military, because you know, Mm -hmm. when you come back together after military that says something about a group because a lot happens um during military enlistment and a lot can psychologically change during military enlistment i'm sure um and to go from numbers like 15 13 down to seven to seven mentally that probably had to to have an effect on them and imagine it had to now they're they're back at nine right I don't even know. Or, don't ask me. Are they? Don't ask me. Okay. We're, so kidding. we're going to be doing Showtime today as well. So we'll get a, a better That's idea. That's true. So the new MV. Well, we're and then they were all tonight. back at 15 with the wedding. How cool So is they that? had all 15 together at the wedding, which Elf was must really have been cool. going crazy. Like, it was really exciting. For sure. Yeah. If you were enjoying this concert series, Super Junior SS7 in Seoul, Make sure that you like and subscribe down below and stick with us. We've done a few installments before, so if you haven't checked those out, make sure that you look in the description section for the links. Check those out and stay with us because I think this has something like 28 installments and our plan is to go through the entire series. So make sure you come back. Thanks to Kaneki. Thank you. Saraneo. And make sure you come back. Check those out. Until next time. Annyeong. Annyeong.